Hello, this is Lenora, coming to you from Uganda. I'm so happy to be talking to you again. I want to tell you about a project that we're involved in on June 18th. That's just two weeks from now. We're going to be heading up to North Uganda to the town of Arua. And then from there, we're going to a refugee camp called Camp Rhino. In this camp, there are thousands and thousands of refugees that have come in from South Sudan. Uh, you may not be hearing this on the news anymore, but there's genocide going on in that country every single day. These people have witnessed their family members getting their heads cut off right in front of them, brutally murdered right in front of them. Uh, they're very traumatized. Many of them have walked over 300 kilometers to get to this refugee camp. They don't have shoes, they, they have tattered clothes, they have no food, they have no money, they have no place to stay, they have no possessions. And so in this refugee camp, they're given medical care and they're given food. And uh, they're also giving some counseling regarding the, um, the trauma that they've experienced. So for us, we've been invited to go to this camp and to teach Bible school which I'm very excited about. So there's a church right outside of the camp. We're going to go spend a week and we're gonna teach the Word of God. We're gonna teach it in a way that the people can take it into the camp, these are refugees, and that they can also spread it to others. And so we're really excited to be a part of this because we know that true healing comes when you come to know Jesus as your Savior. And then to be educated in the Word, get your full baptism in, and be able to walk victorious in the Lord. So we're very, very excited that we've been invited to take part in this. So we need your support, we need your prayers, we need you to be uh, praying that the Lord really makes a way in these, the hearts of the people, that they're ready to receive and they're ready to grow. Typically, when we go and we share Bible school, the churches that invite us, they will pay for our fuel, they give us a place to stay, they pay for our food, and that is not the case this time. These people have nothing. They've lost everything. We're going to have 80 students, and we have to feed them every day. So we made a budget of like a dollar per student per day. And we have to feed them for seven days. We have to pay for our own fuel. The, pl the place is nine hours from here. It's completely opposite direction from where we live. And we have to pay for our hotel room. We have to pay for our own food. So these are expenses we're not used to, but we want to do it because we know that if we teach these 80 students that these 80 can turn into 800 and they can reach in places in the camp that we can't reach because they're reaching their fellow countrymen with the word of God. So please uh, pray about supporting us. Stand with us in prayer. Um, pray that the Lord really will prepare the hearts and the minds of the people to receive and, and sincerely consider going with us in some fashion. Whether you come here personally or you, you um, sponsor the trip or uh, you're praying for us, you're watching our updates, be a part of it with us because we can't do it without you. And we welcome you to participate with us and, and witness what the Lord is going to do in this camp. So thank you so much for listening. I look forward to giving you updates on the project and really, really thank you for praying and standing with us as we bring the Word of God here in Uganda. Okay? Have a blessed day. Thanks so much for listening.